products. We're back at your favorite Saturday hangout in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Hey, All right, on, guys. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm used to the music. I don't put it But uh, anyways, welcome back to In the Garage. If you're just joining us, we're going to be talking about uh, wheels and tires today and how to fit them up. Um, yeah, so we got Richard uh, Winchester who's going to be joining us. If, uh, if he's on the line, we might as well bring him on right now and get this party started. Richard, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, what's happening, man? Hey, well, uh, you know, you guys on the West Coast, it's what, a little after 9 o'clock. Well, I'm on the East Coast, so my wife has had me out in the yard working this morning. <laughs> and I finally broke away from that so I could work on my Firebird for a little bit, and then I realized, holy smokes, I better run to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, right on, man. All well, right. Thanks for joining us. Where, where are you living right now? I am uh, a little place called Lake Greenwood, South Carolina. All right. Yep. Right on. South Carolina and North Carolina seems to be the place that uh, all the car guys are moving to. Yeah, it seems like a lot of them are moving out this way, Tennessee and the Carolinas. <coughs> and uh, don't know, you know, exactly why, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know either. Do it. <laughs> yeah. No, I have a, a, a couple friends that have moved out there that are in the racing industry, and they've you know they love it they yep. love the move and uh they said there's there's all kinds of car stuff happening out there so yeah, sure enough <clears throat> so um yeah we wanted to talk to you a little bit about tires and okay. you know the different types and um <clears throat> the different patterns and treads and this and that and sizes and <clears throat> first of all how long you been with uh bf goodrich Oh, man, over 40 years now. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's I, what I thought. I, I came up during the Vietnam era, so uh, wow. I worked for Goodrich for a year and then went in and did my military time and then came back. And, hey, I had to work somewhere while I was going to school, so went back to them and never left. Wow. That's crazy. So you're a young guy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the older I get, the better I was. <laughs> uh, you're still pretty good, man. I've talked to you. You're, <clears throat> you got it going on. Okay. <laughs> um, so what what's going on new with BF Goodrich right now? What are you guys well, it, What are you guys up to? You know, we've got a new tire that we're kicking off right now. In fact, I've been in California and Phoenix and Texas here more this last couple months than I have anywhere else trying to get this new tire kicked off. But uh, called the Sport Comp 2. And um, and just you know just you know, rocking and rolling and trying to keep up with the market and what's going on. So right on. How would you like explain to the listener how how's the best way about fitting the you know going for the right size tire, fitting it up, and all that stuff? Well, I think <clears throat> you got to look at it two ways. You know, you, you, when you're looking at a, a, a regular car versus a very modified, in some cases far modified hot rod uh you know there's different ways of looking at it but on the average everyday car uh, first thing you want to do is you know realize what the original tire size is and then modify from that point and there's lots of shops that can help help you uh, decide you know how much bigger how much smaller you can go uh, but the key is carrying the load of the vehicle yeah and um uh, and then when it comes to hot rods you know it's well you know <laughs> it's kind of like a lot of times the look is much more important than anything else. Yeah. Um, but I, I like both. I like the look yeah. and the ride. Yeah, but the fact of the matter is is when you get right down to it, you still have to carry the load of the vehicle. Yeah. And it uh or or the tires are just not going to survive. Yeah. And um and if you you know, just imagine a piece of uh eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Okay, uh -huh. that represents about how much rubber is touching the ground on whatever car you've got. Yeah. So if you know if you fold that down into to to a quarter, well a quarter that's about how much one tire is touching the road. Yeah. So you got a contact wow. patch there that uh, you know that's <clears throat> your only connection to Mother Earth <laughs> <laughs> is those four tires. So uh, yeah. picking the right tires and. Uh, Taking care of those tires is, is pretty important. Yeah. And and I don't know, you know, I guess, you know, different shops have different ways of doing things, but one of the things I like to do is, you, 
if you have time, is you get that basic car sitting there, and you maybe it's on jack stands, but you sit a couple of tires and wheels under it about where they would be positioned, and you just can't stand back and look at it. Yeah, do that now. So you get can, the feel for what looks right. Yeah, that's exactly. Well, a lot of times though, you know, like uh, guys won't have a couple extra sets of tires laying around, so that that's kind of difficult. But I mean, yep. mm-hmm. how do yep. you? You guys like use the metric system basically on on tire sizes, correct? Uh, correct. And so, like, if if some guy's at home and he's got a tape measure, you know, what do you suggest to that? You know, do you guys break it down on your website or something? Um, not well. Um, like, uh, I'll just use a, a, an easy one: a two thirty five sixty. Uh, 15 you know uh-huh. 235 that's millimeters yeah so the tire from bulge to pulp bulge the sidewall is 235 millimeters wide okay okay now that is what that's and they measure it on what they call design rim and mm-hmm. when i say design rim the tire and rim association is what we all deal with so there's a rim size that all tire companies agree that this is the rim size that we measure on, okay? Okay. And that's the way we come up with that, um, you know, with that. Okay. But also, every rim that has that rim range. Gotcha. If you narrow, if you lean <coughs> toward the narrow end of the rim width range, you'll get a better ride quality. But if you lean it toward the high end, in other words, a wider wheel, now you've got better performance. Gotcha. And, um, but still, well, I think what you're really looking at is how wide is that is that tire. And um, you can go to data books or data pages, go on the websites, and like I'm gonna, I'm going to go back to that 235 6015. And according to let's see if I can find it here, according to our data book, uh, that tire is nine and a half inches wide when it's mounted on a seven inch rim. Okay. There you go. See, now you're talking my terms. <laughs> so, I'm the guy with the tape measure. what we understand, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, when it comes to all that metric system, I, I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, you think about, okay, you kind of feel like, okay, I need a tire that's about 26 inches tall, or maybe I need one that's 30 inches tall, whatever you want, and then figure about how much width you want, and then, of course, what size wheel. Yeah. And then you can go to probably any manufacturer's uh, uh, website, uh-huh. and you dial in the uh, particular type of tire on their data page, and you start looking for rim size first, then your overall diameter, and then your your width. And sometimes you just can't make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're kind of going through a deal right now with the customer, which you guys are helping us out. Thank you uh-huh. very much with the 71 Chevelle, and uh, he just can't make up his mind. <laughs> so we, we we mount the tire on, and he's like, no. We're like, oh, man, you know. <laughs> we're we're usually pretty good, and we've never – we don't really have to redo things. That, you know, we call it the first time, but, uh, yeah. This is this one's driving us crazy, but um, yeah, I can understand that because you know, and we're working on hot rods basically. Yeah. And but we're working with hot rods from yesteryear. Yep. We're looking working with tires of today. Well, hey Richard, we're going to take a break real quick, so uh, hold on to that thought. And we'll be right back. old 